Welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all a-okay. This intro is just, it's like solid, like that is the intro now. Uh, today I have a makeup look on this blue uh, look, basically. It's meant to be blue and green. Uh, there is green in there, but I think like it comes across way more just pure blue. Uh, I have had my hair done since you guys have last seen me. Um, I don't know how I feel about it, if I'm honest. I think it's, it's just very white. And like, I think I need to tone it a little bit more. So I might do that tonight or tomorrow. If you guys are interested in seeing how I got this look or just getting ready with me, then please keep watching. I got me some food. So I'm first gonna go in with the Urban Decay B6 Vitamin Infused Complexion Prep Spray. As per usual, it is in my MAC Fix Plus bottle because I prefer the nozzle. I will then be mixing these two. This is the Buxton Divine Goddess Luminizer. This is the Kat Von D Hydrating Primer. I'm gonna mix them together. I love mixing primers together, um, especially ones like this, because one's more hydrating and one's more luminizing. Because um, I like to be both. I like to be as hydrated and as luminized and dewy as is physically possible. So I love mixing primers like this together. And I'm just applying it with a brush. It's a Real Techniques um, brush. I think it's like a contour brush or an expert face brush or just a random brush basically. Then I'm gonna go in with the Make Forever Step 1 Smoothing Primer. Nothing new there. And I'm just gonna apply this on my cheeks. I've got a hair, hair here. Cheeks, under eye and nose area. For brows, I'm gonna do the same routine. I'm gonna use my normal NARS brow cream, but I'm gonna use the MAC Fluid Line Brow Gel Cream in True Brunette right at the front just because of how light my hair is. So I'm gonna go in and do my eyes first just because I'm gonna be doing a lot of dark, colorful shadows and glitter, because you guys know me, it's no look without glitter. Um, so I'm gonna first prime them with the Maybelline Color Tattoo in Creme de Nude. Oh, it's like really dried up. Okay, I might have to use a different product. It's really dried up. I'm gonna take Max Laying Low instead just because that Maybelline one, I think I left the cap undone slightly on it. It's a bit dried up, so I'm gonna need to to buy a new one of those. Add that to my ever-growing list of things to buy. I'm just gonna set that in place with a tiny bit of powder. So I'm not exactly sure what look I'm going for. I know I want, I want it to be like green or blue. Um, I feel like I do that a lot on my channel, but hey ho, what you gonna do? Let's just start building some transitions. I'm gonna take Peach Smoothie just by itself on a large fluffy blending brush. Um, I've really hit pan on this. I need to go through my eyeshadows um, and sort them out again, which I keep meaning to do, but I, I want to film doing it. And I'm just, I'm never at home anymore. I'm always working. Well, I've always been working anyway, but I just feel like I'm just always there now. I'm gonna take Desert Sands and Tiki Hut, both from Makeup Geek as well. Just mix them together. This is a Zoeva 221 Lux Soft Crease Brush. And I'm just gonna pop this in the crease just so that it can be our transition. Cause I find like, I think I probably will do more of a blue eye, but I find whenever I do a blue eye, it can turn really cool toned. And I wanna keep this quite warm. I'm gonna go in with Anastasio's Morocco. These are like my favorite shades, the ones I've just been using. Same brush. I'm so excited for Anastasia to come to my Selfridges. You guys have no idea. 
I'm so tempted to apply for a job. No, I do love Mac, I can't lie. I love my Mac family so much. But Anastasia is launching soon and I just I just can't wait. We're getting like Anastasia, um, Hourglass, apparently Ingla. We're getting Becca. So I will see you all in Traff very soon. NYX Brights palette, I'm gonna try and play with this as much as possible. Even though I only really want two shades. But we'll play, yeah, I'm gonna take this green here. This is a Zoeva 221. It is a, the different one to the one we have been using. So I've got two on the go. I have like 20 of these brushes. Um, I'm just gonna pop this in the crease area. Oh, I know what I might do. I might build up like green in like the crease area, put a blue all over the lid and then go in with like a glitter. Done. I'm getting so many emails right now, but not one email is the email I want it to be. Does that ever happen to you guys? Like I'm just sat around waiting for it and like I'm just getting emails from everybody else. John Lewis fucking finance. What is that? I don't want that. So I'm kind of just patting. I like, I put shadow in there, I blend it out so that I know where it's going, like it's got a base and then I kind of like pat shadow on it after for pigmentation. I'm gonna take my favorite green shadow of all time which is Inglot 333. This is a Morphe M514. If you have one similar then you could have just used this for the whole of the green. Um, rather than another 221. It's just, it's up to you and what you've got in your collection. I really enjoy this Morphe brush, I can't lie. I'm gonna take Makeup Geek's Shark Bait, which is this one, her. This is a Zoeva 234 Lux Smoky Shader Brush. It's just a small shader brush. And I'm just gonna pat this Shark Bait shade just on the lid and kind of like merge it with the green and the crease and then with that Morphe brush just to diffuse those look at me with all my affordable eyes Makeup Geek and NYX and Zoeva brushes and Morphe brushes this is affordable as frick I'm going to go with Plumage, screw it I'm going to take Plumage by MAC which is this one her just with that same flat shader brush I'm just gonna pop this one on the outer corner and dig it in the crease I'm just gonna clean up my fallout right so I've got a couple of pigments that I'm gonna go in with the first is from Ingla and this is in the shade 114 um, it is this beautiful very vibrant a blur. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna spray a MAC 242 brush and oh press it on the lid. I'm gonna do this as like a half cut crease um, placement. This is Max Reflex Red. Love, love, love the Reflex line from Mac. If I suggest you to buy anything from Mac, it is most definitely a Reflex item. I feel like that eye is way better than that eye. So all my shots are gonna be like this. Than they usually are anyway. Okay, let's just do the face and if I feel like it needs green glitter, I can come back to it. It's fine. It's fine. Now, do I use you or do I use you? I haven't used you in ages, but is that the look I'm going for? Fuck it, it is now. This is the Illamasqua Skin Base Visage Foundation. I am in the shade SB12. It is very, very dark, I can, and I can only wear it on day one of fake tan. This is the Marc Jacobs The Face 2 brush. I only ever use this brush when I use this foundation. I've never used it like a beauty blender. I don't use any other brushes. Don't worry if you don't have this brush, it's just, this is the brush I use for this foundation kind of thing. 
I think I mentioned it before where like I have certain brushes for certain foundations um, and this brush is for this foundation basically. I'm not going to focus that much of the foundation on my under eyes because I'm just going to go in with concealer to do that. To cream contour, I'm going to take the Inglot um, Stick Foundation in 115 Barker. Obviously, I don't use it for foundation, I use it for creme contour. And I'm going to pop that everywhere that I usually do. And then the Real Techniques Expert Face Brush, which I've just sprayed just to dampen slightly. Oh my fave! If you guys have been here, if you guys have been here for a while, you remember this. This is the Shishido Perfecting Stick Concealer. I literally just, I went on a mad hype about this, and I, I was just obsessed with it. It's in the shade 11 Fair. That one's run out. I'm gonna get a new one. Um, I, I literally just, I fell in love with this, um, and I used to use it all the time. And then obviously, like, lo like loads of new found like concealers come out, and you get distracted. I think I stopped using this because the Urban Decay Naked Skin came out and I loved that. And then with my Morphe Flawless Finish Sponge, I think that's what it's called, just to blend this out. And then to set all that, usual MAC, Mineralize, Loose, Foundation, Extra, Light. Mm. And then I'm just going to set all those places we put concealer. This is a Sephora number 79 brush. BT dubs. I should take some more peach smoothie. Just so that we've got at least some warmth and like transition almost on the lower lash. And then that Tiki Hut and Desert Sands as well. And then just with that flat shade, I'm going to take some of Shark Bait and I'm just going to push it in the lashes. I'm going to take this Topshop black liner just to line my eyes. I'm going to be doing a liquid liner. I'll be using my two favourites for that. This is the NYX Matte Liquid Liner and this is the L'Oreal Super Liner Perfect Slim. I use the NYX one all over the lid, and then I use the L'Oreal one for my flick. I'm going to go in and curl my lashes and mascara and falsies, and I will let you know the falsies when I come back. So the lashes that I went for were Huda Beauty Lashes in the, shade, in the style Carmen. I don't know if you guys are going to be able to see them. They're very like full and fluttery and like big. Um, I don't know how I feel about them because I feel like it feels super fake and I don't really like the feeling of like synthetic lashes. I'm going to go in and highlight my brow bone and inner corner using Becca's Moonstone Highlight. And then this is the completed eye look. I'm going to go in with the um, Too Faced Dark Chocolate Solier Deep Bronzer. Warm my face up. Are we contouring today? Not sure. I'm not sure. No, I'm not going to contour. No, I'm not doing it. Then just with the Makeup Forever Pro Fusion Bronzer. Could not tell you the shade because I have no idea. I'm just going to do my under lip and nose. I want to get a sunset picture so bad because I feel like they're all the trend right now. The sun hasn't rose for days, so I can't. This is NARS Orgasm. It's a little, a little mini baby one. Look how cute it is. This is the NYX Away We Glow Liquid Highlight. Um, I'm actually going to put this on the back of my hand. Pick it up with my damp beauty blender. And just apply that. I'm going to take Illamasqua's OMG uh, Beyond Perfecting Powder, is that what it's called? Beyond Powder. This is just an Anastasia, is it A23? Oh, I don't know, the name's come off. I think it's an A23 Anastasia brush. 
It's just a highlight one. Face, I'm going to use the Marc Jacobs Perfecting Coconut Setting Mist. The lips, I'm going to do my favourite, favourite lip combo um, at the moment. It is the NYX Lip Liner in Nude Truffle. And then pair it with the NYX Velvet Matte Lipstick in Beach Casual. How nice is this lip combo? I'm going to go in with the Marc Jacobs Sweet Escape Gloss. Do you guys remember when I was obsessed with this as well? I love this gloss. So then this is the completed makeup look. I really want to add green, but I feel like it's too late now. Uh, yeah, this is the completed makeup look. I hope you guys enjoyed this blue blue look because it, you can't really tell it's green in there anymore. Um, yeah, if you did, then please give this video a thumbs up. As always, if you guys want to see anything in particular, any colours, any certain makeup products, then let me know in the comments down below. Don't forget to comment, share and subscribe to my channel and until next time we'll see you guys very very soon. Bye!